Kia ora everybody. I thought today I'd do something a little bit different because I've had so much fun on social media in the last couple of days that I would go and answer some of your questions and respond to some of the comments that have been left on various social media platforms on here, on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. There's a whole different range of ways of getting me. Oddly enough, nobody ever comments on LinkedIn. Not very often anyway. But I'm really happy to be able to sit down and respond to comments because I can and I've definitely got the time at the moment. So let's check out the first comment. So this was a comment that was left on my Facebook page on a promoted post actually. One that details exactly how crazy things are going in Carthia. So the question about who it is that governments are responsible to is actually really easy. In an elected democracy, the people who get voted in are responsible to the people that voted them in. And every three years currently there's an election held where the voters can have their say on who it is that will replace them and represent them. If you're not happy with how they're acting, if you don't feel that they're acting in your best interests, you have every right to vote for somebody else. So that's pretty much the technical answer for who these people are responsible to. They're responsible to you. But if you're going out of your way and you're asking for crazy things from them because what you want makes no sense whatsoever... It's totally understandable that you're probably not going to get the results that you're after, and it's totally understandable that that's going to piss you off a little bit. But ultimately, it's down to the voters, responsible to the electorate. I really like this comment, and I don't know why, and I probably shouldn't, because, you know, online bullying is very, very serious, and it's the sort of thing that shouldn't be encouraged, which is one of the reasons why I deleted this particular comment. However, to answer the question, who do I think I am, um... I think I'm me. I think I am a relatively well-adjusted, kind of strange individual who's been trapped at home for the last nine weeks, who's got nothing better to do with my time at the moment than sit there and hone in my social media game because that's what I get paid for. While at the same time trying to use these skills to keep people safe and keep people informed and possibly, maybe, give people a little bit of something to look forward to. So that's who I think I am. As for pretentious twat, are you sure you're not one of my teachers from high school? Because I seem to recall a couple of them calling me that about the same time that I distributed copies of the academic prize-giving winners and it turned out that it was all Board of Trustee member kids. I don't know. I don't care. Either way, I hope you have a great day, David. I really do. This one isn't so much a question as much as it is a comment from Date Month Yeah, and I wanted to say, awesome, thank you guys, I really do appreciate the support. Um, But more importantly, I wanted to say, if you get a chance, go and check out their YouTube page. They have some absolutely amazing music. They've been on the Hamilton music scene for a while, and they are absolutely mint. Go check them out, go give them a follow, listen to their stuff. Honestly, it'll make your day a million times better. And again, thank you very much for the comment response to the video posted on Monday and it was a response on Twitter not on YouTube but I do want to point out that I'm actually really grateful to see comments like this because it shows me that there are other people out there who care about community and it might not necessarily be their own community specifically but they care about what happens to other people around the place because they're aware of the fact that we're all in this together and we all have to work together to get out of the kind of weird mess that the whole country finds itself in at the moment so I want to thank Jess for that comment it's actually really cool to see so many people out there who are really looking out for everybody else and I think we could all learn a little something from that we could all work a little bit better to look out for other people so again thank you very much for that Jess thanks for the feedback there Dave I have to admit when I filmed this as a Doctor Who fan myself I nerded out so much and I was really really honored with the fact that I was able to take a friend of mine and my daughter, who is also a huge Doctor Who fan, to sit down and meet the Doctors that I grew up with. Absolutely loved it. So I'm really glad that you enjoyed it. There's actually another video in that series as well, if you get a chance to hunt it down. Um, I I enjoy both of them. I, I think they're all absolutely amazing. Absolutely fun. So thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. For some of my videos, I expect certain responses. So when I'm dealing with things like anti-vaxxers, I expect anti-vaxxers to jump on board and go, eh, and that kind of crap. When it comes to a video about dinosaurs and prehistoric monsters, I did not expect the reactions that it got. And it still gets, it's actually still monthly, the most popular video that I've ever created, which completely blows my mind. And I'm constantly being corrected by things on it, which shows you, one, 
People who love prehistoric monsters are passionate about what they're doing, and I applaud them for that. Two, the science behind archaeology and paleontology and all of the other ologies, except phrenology, is changing at an amazing rate, and there's always new stuff coming through. Uh, it also shows me that I've still got stuff to learn as well, so I do appreciate the feedback. Um, again, though, still blown away by the fact that this, for some reason, is the most popular thing I think I've possibly ever made, which is a very weird, daunting feeling. Uh, oh well, maybe I'll make something else just as popular one day. Thanks again very much, the good boy. I hope you enjoyed it. Where does he get those wonderful toys? That's a really good question, Jack, and there's actually a few different answers for that, but there's only two that I'm going to mention by name. Um, the first one, if you live up in Auckland, then definitely give Retro Space a try, because in a uh, little shop in Takapuna, Paul and Rochelle, who own it, are the most amazing people out there because they're friendly and they're fun. They're fans themselves. Uh, you can see the passion that they have for what they're dealing with and the people that they're interacting with every time you go into the store. But at the moment, of course, stores are closed, so make sure you do some online shopping at retrospace.co.nz. The other one, before I moved up to Auckland myself, my go-to place was always Mark 1 on Victoria Street in Hamilton. Uh, Chris, who's there, is another person who is absolutely passionate about what he does and the people he interacts with. Um, so check out mark1comics.co.nz. Again, absolutely brilliant store. And if you happen to be in a different alert level to Auckland, Hamilton, uh, from Thursday, make sure you pop in and have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something that jumps out for you, and I'm sure that Chris there will be happy to give you a hand with absolutely anything that you need a hand with. Okay, so I really love how this question is phrased in two parts for a couple of reasons. Uh, any film fan will be able to tell you who their favourite Bond is or who what their favourite Bond film is. Like, it's just, it comes with the territory. Um... It's, it's a bit like why it's mean to ask a film person what their favourite film is because so many of us can't pick just one it, it's like Sophie's Choice which is also a great film so you know it's it's a difficult situation to be in for me personally my favourite Bond is actually Pierce Brosnan and the reason for that is going and seeing uh, GoldenEye was one of the first big film experiences I actually remember and it was because I won movie tickets to it and it was an experience with just me and my dad. I took dad along to it because he was a big Bond fan. And just having that sort of memory of sitting down, watching Pierce Brosnan, Tina Turner blasting on the soundtrack, it was absolutely amazing. So for me, Pierce will always be my favorite Bond. But my favorite Bond film will always be Goldfinger. And I think it's because it's the Bond movie that solidified what Bond movies could be. It wasn't super, super campy like the Roger Moore era. It wasn't super, super serious like we've seen more recently with Daniel Craig. Um, it just sort of it did that balance really well. And don't get me wrong, I love some of the Moore era stuff. I love some of the Daniel Craig stuff. Um, I even have a soft spot for Lazenby. Uh, but I, I like them all, but Brosnan's definitely my favorite Bond uh, for the personal thing. And Goldfinger is definitely the best Bond film ever totally i think that's enough uh responding for today not that i don't want to do this more i actually really enjoy this and it's a nice change from sitting down doing zoom calls with everybody it's like a zoom call with myself but the internet's out apparently there's some big two degrees outage happening right now so i can't even access any more of the comments unless you want to physically write them down and send them to me or flick them to me in a text message but i'm not giving you my cell phone number because i'm not an idiot but if you want to leave a comment or a question for next time, do it down below in the comments section. That would be fantastic. Or make sure that you like and share and subscribe to this. Or if you get really bored and want to download some podcasts, there's some links to podcasts in this video as well, so you can sit down and listen to the interviews. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day.